Once I start eating chocolate, I have a hard time stopping. I reach for another one and another one and another one until I've almost finished an entire box. You've probably had a similar experience, maybe with another type of food or even with a drug like alcohol. This phenomenon whereby a taste of something rewarding makes you want more of it is called the priming effect. Priming poses a serious problem for people with disorders such as binge eating and drug addiction. Because for example, food priming can lead to overeating and drug priming can lead to craving and relapse. My thesis investigates whether a specific chemical in the brain controls priming so that we can prevent it from happening. We study the priming effect of food in rats because we can control when priming happens and we can use drugs to block the activity of brain chemicals that are thought to control priming. In our research, we trained rats to work for chocolate flavored pellets. Sometimes we prime the rats by giving them a sample of the chocolate, kind of like a Costco sample. After the rats ate that chocolate, we gave them the chance to work for more chocolate. We showed that when rats were primed, then they worked harder for chocolate compared to if they were not primed. In other words, eating that sample made the rats want more chocolate. <coughs> Afterwards, we examined what would happen to the priming effect if we blocked a chemical in the brain called dopamine. We targeted dopamine because it's been shown to be important for making us want food and drugs, and it's highly implicated in addiction. If that chemical drives priming, then blocking it should get rid of the priming effect. When we did this, we actually showed that blocking dopamine did not get rid of the priming effect. So primed rats still wanted more chocolate. So even though previous research indicates that priming is most likely controlled by dopamine, we surprisingly found that this wasn't the case. This finding means that future research should aim to figure out which other brain chemicals could possibly control priming. Because understanding how priming works in the brain could help develop treatments for disorders such as binge eating and drug addiction. So that hopefully, the next time someone is faced with a choice to eat one more chocolate or drink another glass of wine, this time they can finally say, you know what, I actually don't want another one. Thank you.